As we get ready to leave 2023, we have new species that were discovered this year. First on the list, we have the Heraglonus populi. This is a blind subterranean catfish found in India. Now these guys have been found while digging wells and they are living in the aquifers themselves. Locals find these guys a lot when they're digging the wells, but they have never been formally uh, talked about in science and like formally described until now. Next, we got a little frog. Can you guess what this frog's name is? Also, we're only doing species that are newly discovered to science, not rediscovered species. Let me know in a comment down below if you'd like to see a video on the rediscovered species from this year. This is the groin on fire frog. I think you might be able to see why. These guys are from Peru. Now the family they're in have about 130 species and 10 of them being in Peru. But this one's different because it has a more rounded snout and it doesn't have a proboscis on it. I would prefer the nickname fire crotch frogs. Next we got a species of snake also from Peru that was found at about 11,000 feet, almost two miles above sea level. And it's called the Tachymenoids Harrison Fordi or the Harrison Ford Slender Snake. And this is what Harrison Ford had to say about a snake being named after him. These scientists keep naming critters after me, but it's always the ones that terrify children, said Ford, 81, in a statement. I don't understand. I spend my free time cross-stitching. I sing lullabies to my basil plants so they won't fear, fear the night. I really don't know what to make of that. Indiana Jones did hate snakes. Next, we got another snake, the DiCaprio snail-eating snake. Yeah, you heard that right. The snake is named after Leonardo DiCaprio. It was discovered in Panama, and as the name suggests, they eat snails. Maybe DiCaprio was a little bit more grateful that he had an animal named after him. I, I thought we weren't doing that anymore. What happened to not naming animals after people? Wasn't there a big thing about that not too long ago? Next, we have the Malagasy kite spider. Now, the scientists who discovered these spiders were studying another spider and were driving down a road and noticed a big web with a ton of different spiders in it. They pulled over to see what was going on and saw a bunch of these spiders interacting socially together. That's like basically non-existent in spiders. Only like a few of them do it. So when they discovered this, they realized they found something special. They kind of remind me of the crab spiders we have here in the US. And last but not least, we have the lavender blushed dartfish. Which one is it? To be quite honest, I'm having a hard time figuring that out too. The only reason that this fish was discovered was because scientists were looking through a bunch of log books and stuff of all these other animals they had and they noticed that the Helfrix dartfish had a couple of phases that looked completely different. And the more they looked into it, the more they realized that, oh, these are two different species of dartfish. I believe these guys are the Helfrix dartfish, the ones with the yellow faces. And this is the lavender blushed. To be quite honest, it's kind of hard to pick which one it is because every single time you look it up, it shows both. So I have no idea which is which. But they are different. Just not sure which one is the lavender one and which one is the Helfrix. Anyway, they were both, you know, they've both been fish. They just are now two separate species. There have been some other species discovered this year. So if you'd like to hear more about them, let me know down below and I will make sure to make a video about them.